Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Walmart exclusive G.I. Joe Retro Series Cobra His 3. This is retailing for $24.96 and is currently available as the release of this video. Um, so this is actually pretty much the re retro style packaging. Uh, there is a little difference in the packaging. Uh, you no longer can see the window box so the figure is now just a printed image. At the top of the packaging, we have the Retro G.I. Joe logo, which is fantastic. Just below that, we have the Cobra His 3 logo. We have nice artwork of the blue His tank with the dirty treads. Cobra Commander on the back. We have a trooper blasting away into the air. And then we have Ribbit piling the His. And also, we get Ribbit action figure in this set. We have the Cobra enemy insignia there in yellow and black. We do have uh, the Hasbro logo in the bottom left corner. We have warning, check out of small parts, not for children under of three. Recommended for like ages four and above. And you can see the figure image here and his name is Rip It. Top of the packaging we have the Cobra Enemy logo, Cobra His 3, G.I. Joe, and the like, Hasbro logo there. At the bottom we have a picture of the figure, a bunch of... Um, Multiple language stuff no one really cares about. Here is the UPC. It's just hard to hold. Um, if you guys want to use that UPC to find it at Walmart. Um, the side of the boxes is pretty much just uh, the same thing. You know, we have the picture of the Hiss and Rip It. Cobra Hiss 3, G.I. Joe, Cobra Enemy logo. And it's the same for the other side here. Got to do this with one hand because I'm holding the camera. Pretty good. But for the back of the box, let's see if we get it in frame. Okay. Up here we have a bunch of crap. Now, you know, if you were a mint in a box collector or a mint on a card, or whatever, you know, it's getting relatively annoying to get all this garbage on your packaging you never had that in a vintage style you know they got that inside the package on the bar in the package we don't need it on the back and every side there is um on the right we have the cobra his three cobra logo we have the picture of the his tank toy itself with the stickers applied we have rip it fit an image doing on the bottom left we have some more stuff no one cares about gejo.com and we have the crap file card and here we go we will take a look, a closer look at the fire card here shortly after we get the figure out of the box. So that's it. That's our box for this. So I don't know what uh, sparked the change where you can't see the figure. It's not a big deal to me about, you know, what the vintage were window boxes. If you're trying to do a retro style toy line, you would think you would have O-rings and you would have, you know, something pretty much close to what the vintage, vintage looks like. With, which is window boxes. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside this box. So this is the interior of the packaging. You can see, you know, it's pretty much well the same as we're always used to seeing in every His Tank release. Simple assembly. The treads disconnects to the bottom of the His Tank and then the cannon goes inside. What's really interesting about this packaging is if you look here, this is white paper here inside that you have the canopy the instructions the sticker the figure and the figure stand and uh they got to just say the canopy the, the window for the cockpit um yeah so it's all smashed in there so when you pull all the stuff out of there your sticker sheets are all bent to hell your instructions are all folded in a little, in a little square piece of paper and uh your figure is smashed in there and you're in your stand so that's the new packaging style. Thank you, Hasbro. So let's go ahead and take a look at the His Tank put together, and we'll take a review it. Okay, here it is, uh, all assembled and decals applied. Like I said, the sticker sheet was all mangled, so you know, if you get them out there, you might have to be careful with your stickers, and some might be uh, you'll have to trim them up a little bit to get the bent pieces off or whatever. But it is what it is. So let's talk about the tank. Um, here's a side view. I've already applied the decals and assembled it. It's very simple, basically. Yeah, no, not very hard to put together. 
for the, the color, let's do the color, uh, look at the color, it's pretty good. I do like the color blue. Um, we have the red 813 on the side, we have the Cobra logo, which is fantastic. Um, there's a decal that goes in here. Um, the treads are black with a very heavy, dirty look, like mud all through them. The front, we put this decal here. You see more dirty treads. There's underneath, we have the rolling wheels. Rolls very nicely. Definitely, you know, a vintage style tank. No complaints on the Hiss tank. I do like the shade of blue that they've used. Um, I wish I didn't have my 25th anniversary blue tank packed away or could have did a comparison. I think this is a different shade of blue, but don't hold me to that. Here's the back of it. Of course, um, on the decal here, I had to put it just a little bit lower because it's a wider decal. And they actually showed an instruction to put it up high and it just hangs over. And if you let your stickers hang over it, you're just asking for trouble in the future and dirt. And it is, they just crumble apart. You want to try to get your stickers on the entire surface. They last a lot longer that way. We have a tow hook here on the back. It's really good. Here's the other side. It's pretty much the same as the side we just looked at. We have a sticker here. Here's the top of it. We have a sticker there in the front on top of the uh, can uh, gun turns. Now this is the most difficult sticker you're going to put on. The sticker, for me at least, was too big. Which it has a lot. You know how, for example, you have, you have the 813 but you didn't have that clear sticker well you have that all around the edges that is that's what causes your problem you literally have to go in and cut off that extra clear around the red trim and it'll fit in there uh, but also it's not long enough to cover the entire front end so that's uh, disappointing so canopy is kind of really nice lift it up, let's lift it up it feels like a softer plastic than I'm used to seeing with many of my his tanks that's what the interior looks like. Not too bad. But that is your Hiss tank. You know, it's basically a Hiss tank. No, you know, no problems. It's exactly what we've been getting for, you know, the 25th anniversary line and from the vintage to through the 25th anniversary line to now it's just it's blue. Uh gives you I don't, you know, I don't mind a different color his tank. Some of my favorites are black, but you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of a, you know, you know, different squads. If you want to have like a small squad of troops that are caught, whatever you want, maybe you know, creature in line. Because uh, I think we've had black, a couple shades of blue, and uh, we've had some red ones in the uh, what is that, Jojo versus Cobra? Those red his tanks that came with the Crimson Guards, but had the O rings. Yeah, so let's take a look rip it. Now, like I said, the his tank is really good. No problem in my file. But we're going to hear us rip it. We got back down to the crappy plastic. We just did a review for the G.I. Joe Trooper, I think it was. And uh, the plastic, I don't know, it's like Dollar, Gen Dollar General plastic. I don't understand what's going on with their figures. The Stalker is really, really nice, but these are just terrible. So let's start looking at this thing. So, top of the head, and you can see his head. Look how look how his head sticks out. Like you have this huge gap right here. So the post, the ball that the head sits on, is way in the back of the head. So now his head sits way forward, and it kind of hunch, it hunches out. Like he's trying to peck something, like a woodpecker. Uh, the insignia is really nice. The vest is this is a, a vest here to block in there, the red insignia. Um, nothing on the back. We had the black visor and the red mouth guard piece or whatever that's called with the blue helmet, which is you know your standard rip it look. We have the red um, wristbands, red belt all around. And then we have this black style stirps I guess I'm not sure what those are called and it goes all the way down to his feet but that is basically it for that figure and he does not seem to want to stand straight up and try to 
standing straight up. He just wants to lean forward and then his chin sticks out. Like, I don't understand what's going on with that. I can feel something here in the legs that, that if you hold his legs, it just wants to push it back. It is a really bad plastic, in my opinion. For the articulation, head does to rotate 360. A little side to side, a little down, back to stationary because of the how far that peg sits in the back of his head. Um, his arm is on a ball, uh, ball joint to rotate 360 on both sides. They feel like a soft ratcheting and they're very soft ratcheting. This one seems to go up farther than this one does for some reason. Um, rotation here at the elbow 360, bendable elbow on both sides. Let's bring them down and see it's stuck. It's just, it's just like crap plastic. Okay, so we have a different bend ratio on this arm. So, so okay, so they raise differently and then their elbow ratios are, looks like they're different. So you get a little more of a 90 on that one than the other one. Uh, so the hands rotate 360. They're actually very small, they look like woman's hands. Hmm. Not sure if there's if it's there. It's so small. It doesn't look like there's any you know in out or up and down like like this on the wrist. I can't really tell because it's like well into the wrist. Um, do we have a like a chest articulation 360 all the way around? A little over uh, ab crunch back. But not much side to side. And sitting, of course, he sits really good, which is, you know, surprising because it comes with a vehicle. And, you know, who knows how many times we've gotten figures that don't, with vehicles that don't fit in the vehicles. But this might figure, looks like he might fit. I haven't tried him yet. We have uh, double joint knees, which is great. Uh, his feet. Spins 360 all the way around. Pivots down, and I wouldn't push on that too much. I've I've seen people breaking these, especially I've seen them break a stalker, and with, just by trying to play with it. And I don't trust this plastic at all. But that's your rippet figure. Um, I don't recommend. I don't like this figure the construction. Uh, it's a, it looks like rippet, no doubt. I do like the blue. It's it's interesting blue. Um, this thing is nice. The articulations, what you would expect from a, you know, from the stretcher line, and the, the plastic is getting the bringy, you know, what you expect for, you know, very low line GI Joe. So it just seems like they're not giving any of the 118 scale any love. It's all going to the uh, classified line, which is. You know, that's a great looking, those are great figures, but geez, give a little bit of love to the 118 scale uh, collectors also. Now he comes with no weapons. He does, he comes with a stand. It is your traditional 25th anniversary style. We have Cobra Trooper Rip It on it. Bottom. Cobra. The insignia molded on, two pegs. Uh, surprisingly, you know, he fits perfectly on his pegs. Looks really good, no problem. So I want to do a color comparison too before we get to you know putting the figures into the his tank. So I just recently did a review so you can see two different shades of blue here for comparisons. And it's the Rippet figure and the trooper is a different color blue from the his tank. So we have multiple shades of blue here. So, all right, so for figure wise, we could put the trooper in the back. They fit, you know, no problem, which you would expect. It's fantastic for the trooper part. It's good. So, I'm going to turn this sideways. We're going to try to prepare Rip It here to get Rip It into the cockpit. And let's see if we can get Rip It to fit. 
Oh, you just pop right in. He sinks down in, so that's a good sign. Yep. No problem. There he is. Perfectly inside. Of course, you can situate his hands as you see fit, but for our purposes, so he's perfectly fine. He's inside, driving and blasting away. Like I said, the his tank's really nice. It's the basic his tank. If you want some more his tanks, especially blue versions, yeah, this is the way to go because this is a very nice blue. So for the back, which I'm probably curious as I am, to see if these are a vintage mold. I wonder how well the pig fits on these figures. Um, it looks like they would fit, but not as tight as you would expect. So, I mean, a little bit of vibrate. He's holding on. It's there, but it's not as snug as you probably would like, but you can get the job done. So, that's a good sign. I mean, I could take it off very easily. It's not hard to find a hole. It kind of goes in and gets stuck on there. Yep, well, that was actually better for well, not really. It's kind of the pegs are really short compared to the uh, what we're used to seeing for these modern figures. All right, so final thoughts. Packaging. Let's talk about the packaging. It's pretty good. I uh, don't like the file cards. Oh yeah, we gotta look at the file card before we go, huh? Don't like the file cards. The box is, you know, pretty good. I love the G.I. Joe logo. That's my favorite logo. Um, I don't know why they gave up the window boxes. I'm betting it has something to do with cost. They probably saved some money by not utilizing that plastic window and the plastic tray that the figure... Or it's not even a plastic tray they sit in. It's like cardboard, isn't it? But then you eliminate all the, you know, the wire ties, whatever they're using to hold the figure in place. The plastic window is just now a box. You can just print across there. There's no cardboard insert to hold the figure. They just throw him in a piece of paper bag, toss him in a box, save 13 cents. Um, for the file card, let's take a look here. This is the file card up close. So we have file name uh, Booth, comma, Fred T the third, as well as the his tank driver, primary, specially heavy equipment operator. Birthplace is can't see through the camera. Riverfall, yeah. And then we have mean and fearless. Doesn't begin to describe rip it. This guy knows only one thing: destroy or be destroyed. And you can say that in four other languages if you like. I bet I'll work for the, uh, the photograph. I do love the Kobo insignia. It was cool. But that's it for that. Okay. Uh, for the his tank, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's a vintage his tank. It's blue. It's the same thing that we love. Uh, it's iconic. The stickers are cool. If they're not damaged from being smashed in a paper bag. I do like the red. Um, I'm not sure. It probably is the same number from the other Hest tanks. I don't remember what the other ones were. But uh, if you do, you can comment down below. and Or not. Um, the figure is garbage. Um, the 25th anniversary rip it we got is way better than this rip it. This rip it's just a, um, what is, what is it, a Nard cult figures? Is a kind of Dollar General figure, generic figures. The plastic's terrible. The plastic is actually worse than the plastic on this figure. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um, like I said, these are 2496. So Walmart's are showing up now. I got this at Walmart when I picked mine up. There were like three of them there. Um, so I'm not sure if they're available through everybody, everybody's Walmart. Uh, when I was there, they had three his tanks, three stalkers, and two blue troopers. This trooper here that we use for this, uh, comparisons. Um, but he has the green bazooka. Uh, 
I bought a his tank and one trooper and left the rest hopefully for another collector and not a scalper. So let's hope that a collector got what they wanted before, you know, someone else wants three times the price on eBay. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please subscribe. Please like the videos. That way YouTube knows that you're enjoying these videos and lets me know also if you like these videos. Um, don't forget to share the videos with all your fellow collectors and uh, we will see you guys in our next review.